As a business owner in this day and age of remote work and virtual work arrangements, the ability to screen record is extremely important. Whether you're doing a walkthrough of a CRM procedure, a demo of a workflow, a PowerPoint presentation, or virtual sales pitch, doing it via screen recording provides you with a number of strategic advantages. First, a screen recording is easier to understand, especially if you're doing a demo or walkthrough. Second, your intended audience can watch the video at their convenience. Next, your audience can watch and re-watch your screen recording for clarification purposes, especially if you're doing a process demo. Finally, you have direct control of your presentation. You can make it as dynamic as you can as if you're doing it live, but also have the added advantage of post-production. One of the more popular screen recording applications available right now is Loom. Loom is easy to use and has a good balance of features. It's simple enough to be used by newbies, but surprisingly robust feature-wise without being too complicated. Plus, the free version of Loom already allows you to do 5-minute screen recording video, which is more than enough for most purposes. So without much ado, let's begin this video tutorial of how to use Loom to record a presentation. You can use Loom either as a Google Chrome extension or as a standalone desktop application for Mac or Windows. Either way, the controls and features are basically the same. To start, open your presentation. You can use PowerPoint, Google Slides, Canva, or any other program you're familiar with. If you're doing a walkthrough, make sure all the tools and web pages you're using are already open in separate tabs on your browser. Once your materials are ready, open the Loom app. For this video, we're using the Google Chrome extension. The first option you need to decide is whether you're doing a screen and camera recording. That's when your screen is shown with an inset video of you via your web camera doing the presentation. A screen only recording, which is the same thing minus your inset self video, or a camera-only recording, which only records your face. To be honest, this last option is the least use of the three because if you're just going to record yourself anyway, you can just use your phone and take advantage of its better camera and functions. Anyway, let's choose screen and camera, which is where it's set by default. There are also a few features you can play around with under advanced options. By default, these options are all activated because they're all useful to you. Once you hit Start Recording, a pop-up will appear where you'll be asked to select which screen you're going to share. By default, entire screen is selected, but you can also choose to share only a specific window or a specific browser tab. After making the selection, hit Share. This will prompt an on-screen countdown to the actual recording. Use this time to gather your thoughts, take a deep breath, and mentally prepare, just like when you're doing a live presentation. Once recording starts, you can still make adjustments, open windows, check your notes, or do a mic test. All these can be edited out in the end using the trim feature. More of that later. As soon as you're ready, Start your presentation, your demo, or your video walkthrough. And speaking of presentations, are you a business or digital marketing agency who's looking to expand your workforce, double your client intake, increase your capacity to handle deliverables, and offer more diversified and specialized services, but you're strictly on a budget? Don't worry, C9 staff has the solution for you. C9 Staff is a boutique remote staff augmentation solutions provider with access to over 35 high-quality but low-cost international talent markets. We can deploy mid- to senior-level rockstar creative professionals for your business or digital marketing agency and help you save up to 70% in payroll and other operations-related costs. 
check out this quick comparison. According to Glassdoor.com, an account executive or account manager hired domestically would have a salary close to $88,000 annually. But with C9 staff, we can deploy one that's equally competent, or probably even more, for just $40,000. That's an annual savings of almost $48,000. Look at the rest of these comparative salaries of different creative professionals. Imagine how much savings you can make and how much more competitive your agency can become with access to a global pool of creative professionals. To find out more, go to c9staff.com where you can schedule a free intro call with one of our account executives. Links are in the description below. Now, back to the video. At any time during your presentation and you feel like you need to pause, you can do so using the control menu beside your inset self video. When you're ready to resume, hit the play icon and pick up where you left off. Once you're done, hit stop sharing. This will automatically take you to your finished recording. At this stage, you can do some basic post-production for your screen recording. At the right side of the video screen is a menu that allows you to review the transcript, adjust video settings, trim and add clips, add a call to action, or change thumbnail. You can use trim and add clips to edit out the first part of your recording where you're still making adjustments, checking windows and tabs, or doing an audio test. You do this by dragging the left handle to the appropriate timestamp. If you have some unnecessary footage at the end of your recording, you can also edit this out by using the left handle. Once you're happy with the trimmed video, hit Save Changes. Next, you can name your video right here. To share your video, you can copy the link directly through the Copy Link icon. Or, for more sharing options, you can hit Share and choose whether to share your connected workspaces, your social media platforms, or even embed your video onto a web page. You just need to remember that for a free Loom account, you can do screen recordings for up to 5 minutes and save up to 25 of these videos on your dedicated Loom folder. If you want longer screen recording time, you would need to sign up for their paid packages. And that's it. That's how to use Loom to record a presentation.